So, hello and welcome people back to, uh, well, Hybrid Heaven on the Nintendo 64, played on the actual Nintendo 64. With do not disconnect your rumble pack, Nico, it's very important. I do not have that one, but what I do have is a first party Nintendo 64 memory card, which if you don't have one, don't play this game. <laughs> Just plain don't. And, uh, e and, uh, and even then your memory card will die like five times. I have played this game through, uh, all the way through before, and I had one of those third-party uh, memory cards. Uh, it was called something like Invention or whatever. Don't buy that one. It literally died like like three times when I was playing through that game, and fun times were not had by nobody, especially not by me. No fun allowed. Yeah, like the worst part is those those memory cards run out of battery um, and you need battery life to keep the save data on it. I mean Nintendo's the original ones probably do as well but they last longer and you can actually change the batteries and we're getting scanned by some weird alien machine. At this point we should probably ask ourselves what are we even doing here? <laughs> What are we trying to achieve? This, this is fine. Who who are we? We're Mr. Diaz, this hot, uh, this hot stud muffin over here. But uh, like, and what what's written? What's even written here? Turns out this is the same Diaz from Legend of Dragoon. This is a sequel. Well, they both came out at around exactly the same time, actually. <laughs> yep. Well, this is just what happens, you know. Just go to go to an alien alien station. Just play around with some things you can't even read, and then you get an alarm, and then everybody's mad at you. It definitely hurts you, Chris. Well, it's a good thing we don't have to... All of the witnesses are gone, but now we have to deal with this thing. And how do we do this? Wrestling. <laughs> Fuck yeah! This is the standardized way of resolving conflicts in this universe, and it is awesome. <laughs> As you can see, uh, this game is, um, well... It's basically like Tales of Graces if it was also an active time turn-based RPG like uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga. That's weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, the thing about... Uh, I I'm gonna wait until the end of the battle for... Um, uh, as you can see, uh, you don't... You really don't want to um, like spam uh, the uh, like the pause battle thing because it will actually uh, if you leave from it without doing anything it will actually take away a little bit from your power. Uh, the power meter is uh, your turn. You can actually execute a command the moment it uh, goes through one fourth of it. You can see a little peg at the very beginning of it, and that is how much you need in order to execute a move. However, you need more to actually for, for the move to actually have any sort of impact. So you want to wait until it's uh, all the way down uh, up there. As you can see at the uh, as you can see at the bottom there, we can actually uh, we can actually see the condition of our enemy. Uh, we can sometimes also see a condition of ourselves. Uh, different status conditions will be uh, will be induced upon the enemy by damaging certain parts of their body, and I got a terrible rank. And as you maybe saw there, um, 
for a moment I will let it I will probably let it uh, stay on for a while longer on some other occasions um, we get a very weird level up screen our level is a very so to say non-linear uh, each part of our uh, each part of the body of our main protagonist levels up individually and I mean every part individually I mean like left arm left leg uh, right arm right leg body head all of those rev level up on their own both defensively and offensively huh. but it's implemented very well uh, however in general that kind of makes uh, one dominant strategy of just never try to run away from taking damage because for the most part damage is unavoidable uh, you can run away from some damage uh, and you should definitely try to, uh, but if you have the... Uh, when you get that with a little menu... Well, thankfully they're behind the glass. Uh, whenever you get that little menu, whenever the enemy is at trying to attack you, that is what actually brings it up. Uh, always choose guard. Just never think about it. Always choose guard. <laughs> uh, because counter is very hard and random to pull off. Works against certain th enemy types that really don't do, uh, just do one attack over and over um, but you have to press a certain direction uh, and then also be within a, uh, within a good distance and it will also take up your entire uh, like energy bar uh, like power bar it just isn't worth it and yeah we can also crawl by pressing the Z button And it's a nice thing they introduce you to this here. You know, uh, put something that you cannot advance through unless you do the right thing. And on the ground, also, there, everything's going to hell, and these scientists are really calm about the situation. And they're disposable, they're scientists. <laughs> they're they're just, like, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen one day, fuck yeah. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just find more interns, you know? <laughs> Um, but yeah, the uh, the combat system is interesting, and uh, for now, it's at it's a very, very, very basic, so to say. Um, as we go on, uh, we will also get more um, sta uh, more power bars, up to five in total, actually, because all, uh, eventually it will fill up uh, four pegs. Uh, right below our um, power bar, and then on top of that, one more. Uh, on top of that, w one more that's actually charging. So you can actually execute at uh, like a chain attack made up of five completely powered up uh, moves. It's a legend of a guy. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Um, and you do want to uh, like the only. The only occasion where I would say it's worth it to uh, use an attack prematurely, rather like use a, an energy, a power bar before it's full, is if you want to heal. Because for healing it actually does not matter how much, uh, how full your power bar is. And also, good... freaking seamless battles. Oh yeah, well it's a Nintendo 64, it doesn't need to load. One right. thing that's one thing that's good to remember is um, uh, what I learned throughout this uh, playthrough, and that was me pressing start by accident. Um, what I learned throughout this playthrough is that you want to bait enemies into doing animation right before you try to hit them. And you know why that is? Uh, they will actually be low. Uh, they will actually be. See, this is what happens when you. Uh, use and move that's not on a full power bar um, oh god what, what was I saying there's so much to this battle system that's so awesome something about that doing an animation oh yes uh, you want to bait the enemy into doing an animation uh, because uh, if you pause them right in the middle of doing that animation so like running up to you uh, they will do it for one more cycle after they are, they are just about to be done. 
So that means they will literally run straight into you. And they will not be able to guard. Oh wow. Hit rate right, 100%. Hit rate. See, here uh, we get stats and also on top of that we also get stats for uh, like your defensive capabilities and offensive capabilities of each one part of your body. Uh, we can we could use that thing uh, like if there is a uh, there is a square spawner uh, in the middle of the room or well not necessarily in the middle of the room but in the room uh, we can use that to uh, spawn an enemy over and over and over and over and grind. However, this is not a very convenient spot for that because the save is quite far away actually. There are way more convenient ones, and uh, it's advisable that you take a, take advantage of it at least at some point in time. Uh, this game also has that uh, thing that, um, well, kind of like Final Fantasy II has going on, uh, where it doesn't really matter against what enemies you train, uh, because they don't actually give you experience, it's what you do in combat is what matters. Yeah. Uh, the however, fuck they also even is this thing. Like a golem oh, or something. One more thing. Oh, that was me trying to do a grab. I don't do grabs too often uh, because they're actually very, very hard to pull off correctly. And see, he 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 was trying to counter, but he countered wrong. Thankfully, the em uh, the enemy is actually not. Omnipotent when it comes to um, omnipotent, uh, omnipotent when it comes to their uh, their predictions. They will make. Uh, there are ways to abuse them, like I said. Um, like dick kicking them repeatedly. Like you know, baiting them into doing uh, animations. However, what is yeah. true, what is also true, if they stop you in the middle of doing an animation. Uh, they will actually take advantage of it as well, because you will do one more cycle of that animation right after they stopped you, and uh, they, you know, uh, they let the battle play uh, play again. Right arm leveled up, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, your body parts will actually level up during combat. Not that you would actually, like, super notice, uh, because this game mostly deals in small numbers. Uh, Oh huh, no, actually, yeah, I am already doing more damage. But yeah, I'm... I should actually heal at this point. Nah. Seems good. Just... Be... Not quite good enough. Yeah, and also, uh... I, I also mentioned before how you want to get hit by the enemies, or rather you want to use guard. There are more reasons than just because uh, it's hard to avoid getting damaged, it's also very beneficial to you, because you know how you learn moves. Get hit by them. Exactly. <laughs> so if you see a move that you're like, oh, this is awesome, uh, you run into the same enemy over and over until you learn it. And there are some really sweet moves that you can pull off if you... Um, uh, if you if you get lucky and, uh, against certain enemies, since I am right. also oh um, there are two types of uh, main healing items. Uh, there are the reg uh, regular uh, HP restores, and there are also battle chargers. I never use a battle charger. Um, HP restore will uh, recover your HP. Well, just as it says. Which I should do. I'm being very, very, um, not very smart with this. <laughs> Merman. He here. I uh, just love how all these aliens are freaking trained in martial arts. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you, you saw <laughs> like how he Power was. Rangers that way. You see how he was? He was running straight at me, and even though he was at the point where he could, you know, very safely. Uh, you know, s stop. Uh, and he would probably stop under other circumstances. And here, if you get grabbed, you can you just mash A button, and you can do froze. 
This is what grabs are for. But uh, exactly as you can just keep mashing the uh, the button in order to uh, in order to pull off a counter throw, um, the enemy can do the exact same thing, and it will happen more often than not. So this is why I don't like doing uh, I don't like doing grabs. But past me is me making me very very uncomfortable with how little HP I actually have. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, past you was like, it'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, stands uh, is actually an option in the menu, which is very nice. Uh, you can change which foot you're standing, uh, you're putting in front in combat. You just want to leave it at what, whichever one it is. You can actually change that by um, pressing the B button uh, during the battle. You will just jump from one leg to the other, which is not really all that useful. Well, it's, ni it's a nice thing to have, but it's not very common that w I would actually use it. Uh, it does have a certain use. If your leg gets injured, uh, you don't want to be defending with it. That's the basic idea. Right. No more Mass Effect vibes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, I guess uh, I guess at this point I kn I knew that there was gonna be a, a save point. Uh, although I from this point on I did get a little bit too cocky on several occasions and just didn't want to heal. Um, you do get more uh, like enough healing items to go about, not enough to get keep like keep getting damaged, but uh, enough to use for when you actually need to, which is a good game design. And you find even more by exploring, which you should do, 